Hello and good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. Um, appreciate you letting us have a few minutes to speak. For those of you who saw us in the spring, um, it was a great event, and I want to thank the people who put that on, and that's why we're back. Since spring, we have added a few things to our presentation. Uh, we've also had a few customers, so thanks to the Finnovate for that as well. We added one of the largest uh, personal finance companies in the world, Wealth Management, added one of the larger pay, uh, mobile payments platforms as well, as well as some, an insurance company and two online banks. So clearly, what you guys are doing here is working. Um, what we're going to show you today, uh, my son, Bill and I, is a couple of things. One, Layer, the reason these companies came to Layer is that Layer provides the ability for companies to really capture the conversation between themselves and their customers. And whether that's through for micro banking or for some of the richest people in the world, it's about a personalized interactive experience that we can give people on any interface. So let's talk about that for a second. What we enable people to do is to des imagine, design, and build an engaging experience across mobile web, native apps, and webs. So what we're going to show you is, first of all, Bill's going to join quickly. And he could have come in from, he's on the right side on his phone. And on the left side is the company. Let's call it Layer Finance. Bill is going to interact with a bot. Now, all this is basically is a simple onboarding flow. But what we want to do is show that the world exists with bots, with humans, and ultimately escalating to voice and video. Hit high again. The, <laughs> we just changed. There it goes. Yeah, right. OK. So the bot has woken up. The bot is now asking him a certain amount of information on a card. Now, we find when you work with bots, the most important thing to do is have a lot of structured data. NLP just doesn't work, especially in lots of different countries and lots of different languages. Uh, although, if you are working with Layer, we can actually translate, uh, hook you up to translation software for people like Microsoft and others to do that. But still, for NLP, for process, just basically for simplicity's sake, we suggest definitely using structured data. Now, what Bill is doing is he's filling in his information, he's submitting that form and card to me. And on the left side, you'll see that it has actually welcomed him. I have now his information for my Salesforce. I have um, able ability to interact with him. Now, Bill can do interesting things at this moment. Like, for example, he can start looking on that plus button down in the bottom left, and he can start interacting with pages. Now, once I've gotten him into a mobile web experience without having installed anything on his phone, I'm giving him the ability to interact richly with me, so start seeing really cool information. I can share things with him as well. Like, for example, I can fire off these videos to him, but he can then, will see, and be able to scroll to. And when he sees those videos, he can actually play them live. So we can do rich media content as well through, through Layers capabilities. This one happens to be for wealth finance. We can also, since he's so excited about what he just saw, he wants to buy from us, I can do a thing called a stateful card. Now, one thing's very interesting about the way Layer works. is I can offer him things through, if I can type, through a card. Yes. And that's going to give him the ability to actually receive this and make a decision on it. We look at this as an invitation, a receipt, a, an action, and then a receipt. So now we have, a, we have captured the transaction that he has made. The reason we can do this is because within Layer, each individual message can actually be a rich type and actually be a small application itself. So now, with that technology, you can move almost any business flow into a conversation. And that's really powerful and important. Some of the things I can do with Bill is, for example, um, if Bill wants to, I can have pre-canned information. I can do things like share files. So I can tell him his portfolio is doing awesome. He's going way up in, in the world. I can actually say, if he wants to drop out of this, I can send him you know, not everyone wants to interact, and especially with some of our uh, wealth management customers. They actually don't want to work through uh, mobile web. What they want to work through is something like SMS. So we enable that. Now, what could happen here is the, com is the computer would see he didn't read something, for example, after a while. And since the read receipt wasn't triggered, it would actually forward him a SMS message. Now, he can respond back directly to that SMS message, which, would, which he should do, and that will show up inside of the layer system. Now, that's pretty powerful if you think about the compliance rules that people have, that you need to be able to capture every transaction, whether it's email or SMS or anything else. In fact, we can even hook this up to Alexa, Alexa if we want to and teach it skills. 
Um, another thing that might be of interest, I think, very interesting to a lot of people, is capturing wealth management. So when you're in wealth management, you often have to figure out and schedule things with your, with your clients. And this happens with pretty much any one of the businesses we work with. By the way, if you haven't noticed, I'm Matty today. All right. So I send him a number of opportunities to meet with me. He's able to select those. He submits it back to me, and that actually kicks out a calendar entry to both of us. So with very little effort, think about it. I send him an SMS. He fires back a, um, a message to me by SMS. I bring him into the rich experience. And then you were able to schedule a meeting together that links up to our calendars very, very quickly and easily. Um, with, we can also do things like, for example, uh, share our location. So for, we, if we wanted to meet up at a place like, say, Finnovate here in a few minutes, and you guys want to come by our booth and, and see what's possible, you'd be able to do that. And you can come by and see us at our location. If that, the whole point is not this particular demonstration. The whole point is we can move using the idea of a conversation. You think about sales flow or support flow. You make them go to a website, search, find, check out. You make them do things and change. They're going to fall out of the funnel. The more you can keep them in one experience, the more you can keep it interactive and personalized, the more likely you are to keep them and convert. With our customers, we're seeing 5x improvement in scalability and a 20x improvement in conversions. So please come see us at the booth. Thank you.